Praise the Lord, everyone. Blessings to you guys this Thursday morning. So I want to uh, start with a prayer. Um, Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for your goodness and your mercy, Lord. We ask that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart would be acceptable in your sight, for you are my strength and my redeemer. Lord, we ask that you would search us and know our thoughts, Lord, and that you would prepare us for your meeting. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. So um, this Thursday, I want to talk about something that happens heavily in the body of Christ. And one of the things that has been um, laid upon my heart over a period of time, honestly, is the idolization in the church and the manipulation in the church and I know that I try to keep these very short just so you can have something to um, just encourage and edify you um, but I might give a little snippet of both now there is a scripture in the Bible says that that says give honor to um, to whom honor is due and the thing is sometimes that honor becomes idolization you know um, worship um, to the person and there's a disconnect from the God if you're not intentional and if you're not in your word it could be one of those things well such and such said it and don't become a badge of honor unless God says it amen so <clears throat> you can hear um, I remember one time I visited um, this mega church and I won't give the name just because I know that we all, um, you know, we all are a work in progress. But he said something along the lines of, <clears throat> um, I, I don't remember the exact way he quoted it. So I don't want to even mess up the quote. But what, what he said did not align with what God said. And um, there was another instance where I went to um, like this shut in and the guy said something and it didn't align with what the word of God says um, <clears throat> that we can hear him and that he speaks to us. Um, so it's just very important that we make sure that we are seeking God for ourselves and that if someone says something that just because they said it, it does not make them, um, you know, it doesn't make what they say true if it doesn't align with the word of God just because they've been walking with God just because they have a great knowledge and a great anointing on their lives let the word of God still be your truth let it still be your uh your what you're standing on um amen don't let anyone twist or pervert it it says in scripture that in the last days that there'll be things taught by demons so some things um up, and, and not even that people sometimes intentionally do these things but it could be um just one of those things where they messed up or or they misinterpret but you have to make sure that you're in your word and even with me like test everything that I say by God tested by the spirit um, if it don't align with scripture hey don't just um, you know be like oh well you know this is what she meant you know if I said it hold me to task and I mean that because at the end of the day people's souls are at stake with what um, those who are in places of leadership are saying that it's very important it's very prominent that we make sure that we are standing and telling what thus says the word of God the other thing is that um so you know and that's the idolization part like you know reverence this person to the point where oh well even if they said it you know well well, maybe God didn't mean it this way or because they've been walking with the Lord so long or because they have a huge congregation or because they um, have a known in ministry, a name in ministry, those type of things. We have to treat everyone. It says show no partiality and God means that completely and fully. Like, um, there are times where, and, and, and what we have to also remember is that people are just anointed by God. And if you're going to follow anyone, wouldn't you follow the one who gives the wisdom, who gives the knowledge, who gives the gifts, who gives the understanding? These things are important that we just follow the one who gives it and the one who he told us to follow, which is Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. He gave us the best example that there is to give because there was no sin found in him. There was no lie found in him. And here's the thing, you know, there are so many people who are not bringing this thing, uh, you know, reminding people, hey, I'm just a man. I'm just a human. And a lot of times people will allow themselves to be puffed up and allow themselves to be idolized. So then when they fall, it's like all these people turn their back on them. You know, you have to even 
you know i'm speaking to those even called to leadership and those who are already in leadership do not let people idolize you because what they will do um when you fall is they will abandon you now the people who know that you are just a, a human being that has been anointed by god to do an assignment to do a work they will stand by you because they never put you on that pedestal and one thing about putting people on pedestals is that they come off the pedestal because eventually they're going to do something that you don't like something you don't agree with and that's why it's important to make sure that you're getting the message that you have a respect that they have submitted themselves to God but also understanding that they're human and understanding that what they say is not absolute but what God says is absolute the other um, thing I want to talk to and again I'm trying to keep this as short as possible is the manipulation when it comes to money the Bible says that you give a tenth of everything that's been given to you and a lot of times people just think that that's money or um, you know no he says give a tenth of everything that's your gift that's your talent that's your finance that's everything that he has given you a tenth of it belongs to him and then you know you don't see it as much but they used to have like the thousand dollar lines the hundred dollar lines 500 listen when you go in your when you get ready to go to to any type of event um, church invention, uh, church convention, church event, um, a conference, any of those things. You ask the Lord, hey God, what is it that you want me to sell? And you you talk to God about it and he'll tell you exactly how much to get. People will have you stretched in a place that they don't want to be stretched themselves in. So here's the thing. If they tell you to believe God for it, then they should believe God for it. Because here's the thing. God is not moved by how much money you have because that's almost essentially as if you could pay your way into favor or pay your way into um into heaven and you cannot and even in the book of matthew god talked about out of all the ones who gave the offer of the one who gave the least because she gave out of you know she gave out of her lack instead of those who gave out of her abundance so we have to be careful with this manipulation that's going around with this money and you know even i've talked about it before about the words um the manipulation of words um sometimes people will say hey i got a word for you you know um come back this day come back that day or whatever like now i can get if they're busy but if it is you know this is the thing if it's time to release the word god will have the word released you cannot buy words you cannot buy anointing you cannot buy anything that god has given to another person um you know when elijah was with elijah he did not buy his anointing he asked the lord of it and even elijah knew that he could not give it to him he said you have to ask you know and this is how you would know you know he gave a reverence as to how you would know but he passed you know and obviously he you know he went on to be with the lord i was going to say pass but he didn't he was taken up but the thing of it is, is that we have to make sure that we are very mindful of these manipulative tactics that people are using when it comes to the body of christ you still give your temp and whatever you have purpose in your heart with the lord to give as an offering let that be your offering the other thing is that when you give um when you go and you um you know churches almost become expensive because that's the way people make it seem you know and it's not when you go to a church and visit it's like going to a restaurant you know you leave a tip you you know not that you're leaving a tip but i'm saying that you purpose in your heart what you are going to give that individual you purpose what you're going to give that ministry but you do not let someone contradict the word of God and, and 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 manipulate the word of God with the sowing because what happens is a lot of times is people want blessings and they want things but they're sowing on wrong on the wrong ground and on, not only are they sowing on the wrong ground but they're also um, they're not listening to what god is saying to them they're not listening to what the word says about sowing and you know you sow this you're going to reap this you sow that you're going to reap that and that is you know that's a very dangerous game to play because of the simple fact that god is the one who gives the increase god gives the increase always 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 so it's nothing that you can do or nothing that anyone else can do um that's going to make you get what god has for you later and then some people say oh well i sowed this seed and i got this it may have not been that you sowed the seed it may have just been that it's the timing because there are people who are sowing seeds and they're not getting what they want and it's simply just because the timing is off you cannot buy heaven heaven is not for sale so do not allow people to manipulate you in that aspect do not allow, allow people to get 
trip you because the Bible says that he loves a cheerful giver. So if you don't want to give and you're sitting there being coerced by somebody 15, 20 minutes, we're trying to reach this amount or 15 to 20 minutes. This is what the Lord showed me the number. You, the, the people who are speaking to you have to believe the very thing that they are telling you to believe. So I just pray that you be encouraged and know what God says. He says, give a tenth of everything that has been given to you, whatever you decide and purpose in your heart for the offering you give give unto the Lord and you give ungrudgingly. You give with joy. You give with thanksgiving because it has been given unto you. Do not let anyone finagle you out of your money. And I know that some people may not agree with this because this doctrine has been taught for so long, even back um, it's starting as late as the 80s. But the thing of it is, this is not scriptural based to have a set amount and then tell people it's not, it's not, biblical to make up different lines of this is what you give this is what you give because god is not concerned about your money god is concerned about your soul sake um so i just pray that you guys be encouraged i pray that you guys do not idolize those who are in great uh, positions of leadership um and and those who are in positions of leadership do not allow yourself to be idolized the bible says that um correction starts in the house of the lord so make sure that you and your congregation and your body is in alignment with god and the other aspect of this is make sure that you are not being manipulated by the spirit of mammon and that you are not allowing those under your um covering your your umbrella to be manipulated by it either so make sure that you teach on that it's very important so be blessed you guys and have a wonderful day